We've seen like a billion people. Yeah, we used to get a billion viewers a week. Wow. I mean, absurd, absurd. Well, the cast of California Dreams, the first time ever on camera, we got their reunion. Shot through the heart! Oh, okay, <laughs> You're okay, too okay, no. Today, Kelly Packard from Baywatch and California Dreams is here. And later in the show, a reunion with the cast of California Dreams. But up first, Kelly Packard. Great to have you here Pleasure. today, Kel thank Kelly. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's hard to believe looking at you, but you've been in the business for 25 years. Wow, yes, I have. I was a baby when I started, because I'm only 26 now. 26, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, no, I From started, From the crib yeah. to the camera, you know? <laughs> yeah, I started when I was eight years old, and I started doing commercials, and, uh, What you know, Do you remember, your first, what was your first um, Commercial. My very first commercial was a Japanese cookie commercial, and so they dubbed us in Japanese, and it was the mom, it was with the mom from Little House on the Prairie, Karen oh, Grassle, yeah, yeah. so it was like a big deal. And then my second one was a Tonka Toys uh, commercial called Star Fairies, and then I remember also doing a Squeeze It. Do you remember that fruit drink you used to squeeze off the top and drink it? They oh. still have them. It's, it's, it's like crazy. A, a bit it's like a Kool-Aid drink, yeah, you yeah. know? Uh -huh. um, so I did a bunch of commercials my first year, and I thought, I'm cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I learned really Really quickly how devastating the business can be especially mm -hmm. on a young person because from like 9 to 14 I didn't do anything nothing. literally I, I auditioned my little heart out and got nothing wow. so I learned early on so how did you handle that as a little kid you know I remember it was it was very tough because I think one year I had 380 auditions. Now wow. that's more than one wow. a day. So I just remember being shuffled. I would, my mom would pick me up, run me to the bathroom at my elementary school, get me all ready because back then they could not take you until after school time. Uh -huh. And then we'd run to an audition or two. And I remember so vividly being exhausted. Mm -hmm. I remember being confused. Mm -hmm. um, I do remember saying to my mom, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Which and commercial she, is it today? Right? Yeah. And she <laughs> would say, and I quote, Kelly, you got me into this. You're sticking it out. Uh, We're sticking this out together because I did. I pushed, pushed, pushed when I was eight. I'm like, I want to be an actress, ah! you know. <laughs> so she was right. And, and thank goodness I stuck with it because things started happening when I was about 14. 14. Yeah. And then I just, it, once you get your resume going, it just becomes a whole different ball game. Well, so you kind of had your experience with paying your dues. I mean, you hit the ground running, then you paid your dues a little as I a young actress. I absolutely paid my dues as a young actress. And, you know, looking back, though, I got to have a, a normal childhood, though, as well. Mm. Um, I got to stay with the same group of kids from school. I got mm. to experience all the school aspects of your childhood oh. versus, you know, other child actors that are doing it from when they're eight years old and on. It's a different, it's a different life. So you weren't just schooled on the set I was not. Only until my senior year. I did my senior year on the set for California Dreams, but prior to that, I got to stay, you know, at school, so. So even when it was kind of go tough going there, but you knew somewhere that you wanted, that was I what did. you wanted to do? I did. I, I don't know if I did as much as my mom believed. Mm. And then when, when the time came for me to, to want to do it, thank goodness I stuck with it because I knew already, I was a seasoned pro by the time I was 14, wow. you know, I knew the ins and outs, I knew what it took and I knew what it required of me. So it made me a stronger person looking back. Of course, being that age, I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, so. Well, it's kind of like the kids with the piano lessons in a way. Exactly. It's like, you, know, you never want to take the lessons when you're little, but then a lot of people regret ha not having done them as adults Absolutely. because their parents didn't push them That's sometimes. a perfect example, yeah. But now, since if I may say so, you're you're a mom yourself, a I mother. Am, yes. Would you, do you want to get your kids into it and would you push them if they were a little bit it hesitant? Would be, no, or? it would be the same thing if they wanted to do it. It. Mm -hmm. I would I would support them 150 percent my both of my kids well my son mostly could be in the business and actually probably be very successful does he know that yet no am mm -hmm. I gonna just do it no mm -hmm. so that's where I feel I'm different like if, if he becomes an agent and says I want to do this I will I will go hit the ground running with him um, but they haven't done that yet so <laughs> <laughs> I have a few years maybe until they decide <laughs> then you can retire or support and then, you, exactly you know, like yeah <laughs> But so at 14, you said, though, is when things picked up yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. I started uh, getting guest spots, and my mm. first guest spot was on a little show called The Wonder Years, mm. Uh, mm. and that really opened doors for me. It was amazing how once I did one good known show, mm. uh, things just opened, and I started doing guest spot after guest spot after guest spot. I did a couple um, feature films, and then I'm trying, I guess I probably did, you know, two years of solid work mm. and then my mom got sick mm. and so I kind of took off for a little while and, and and was with her and just finished out school and was a cheerleader and all those things oh. and um, and then when she passed away I oh. sort of made Sorry. a um, a vow if you will that I was going to continue this business for her 
Oh. And I was back two weeks, signed with a new agent, and the audition for Cal California Dreams came up. And it was clearly, you know, an angel looking out for me. And I had nine auditions for that show. Wow, wow. <laughs> so they put you through the ringer, huh? They put me through the ringer. In fact, a very funny story. I'll probably, well, Jenny and I were up against each other for the same part. And I Tiffany. T yes, for Tiffany. And I ended up getting it. But I remember when she called me that night to congratulate me, I said, I said we would be friends for life. And she's my best friend to this day. So. And she also ended up on the show And she ended as up well. on the show the next year. Find mm -hmm. out later. Yeah. But so you were about, what, 16 when I you was. I was. Then? Let's see. I think I just turned 17. So I, oh, um, 17. Okay. I want to say, yeah, I just turned 17. I was probably maybe five months into my 17 years of age. And we started that June. And so I, through the summer, I got to, you know, start. And then I had to start my senior year on mm. set. So I missed going to school my senior year. And that was one of those, it was a Saturday morning. Morning, it was um, yeah. like saved by actually by the same guy who did Saved by the Bell. Same producer, same director. And, uh, yep, yep. We were the next show in his lineup. It was Saved by the Bell was his baby, and then we were his little second baby, if you will. So what's that like being in high school, seventeen, and being the TV star? It was um, it was awesome. It was so cool because at the time my favorite show was Saved by the Bell. So mm. I, it would be like now me being on Grey's Anatomy. Like you know, yeah. if back then it was like wow, this is the coolest thing ever, and it was. It was I got to be. Um, it, there were times when I missed being at school, but then I would say, if I was at school, I would be wishing so badly I was here. So sure. I was very aware of that. Um, but it was a blast. It was it was awesome. But I guess when you graduated, you already had your plans kind yeah, of made for I what did. you were going to do after school. You're right. School. You're right. <laughs> and that I actually look back and go, gosh, I wonder if things would have been different if I hadn't have gotten the show straight out of school. Would I have gone to college? Hmm. Probably not. Would I have you know succeeded at something else? I don't know. And and because I was working at such a young age, and that show lasted for five years, so well into my you know uh, young adulthood, I I didn't have to make those decisions, or I didn't make those decisions. I should say. <laughs> your character on the show, um, I was watching a clip on YouTube today and you were singing. Yeah, yeah. we that, Because that was the idea was you had a band, We right? had to so be able to sing and also in order to get the part. So of my auditions, I think five were in the music studio and four were readings. So they made sure that we could sing. So that was really well. you singing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, no really us. Not us playing the or? instruments, <laughs> I will clarify, but it was us singing. Wow. Yeah. So. And. Uh, well, so the premise was that you had this band, then, mm -hmm. and, you, and actually, um, Michael was telling me that they used to bus in what, like, three hundred screaming teen girls or something. Is that it? For, yeah, like, I think the, so. He would know better than that. He paid attention that. to that. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> we. The the theory was we hung out just like at Saved by the Bell. We hung out at school. We hung out at Sharky's, which was like you know the same place on Saved by the Bell. And but but the difference was we had a band. Michael played our manager of our band, and there was originally there was four of us, and it was Brent and myself and Heidi. Um, and William and we were the four that were in, in the band and we would get gigs on our days off from school or after school or whatever or playing at the prom or you know whatever it was um, but then we also when I signed my deal with NBC I also signed a deal with uh, MCA Records so oh, it, we they put out an album a California Dreams album our first year oh. so it was it was pretty amazing especially again being 17 years old and I now have a hit show that well for Saturday morning and a record it was it was amazing now, since that show went on for five years, were you in high school a really long time on we the were, show? Or? We were, <laughs> yeah, because I, I think we were probably sophomores when we started, mm. and you can do the math. Five <laughs> years, we only ended with our graduation episode. So, yeah, we were in high school Did for a while. Did they ever think about taking them off to college? I, no, I, I, no, I think they tried that with Saved by the Bell, and it was not a huge success, so they just left mm. it at that. <laughs> now, I saw your final episode, I think. You did. The, the big uh, farewell mm -hmm. scene, which... Yeah. Which was so emotional, so emotional. I, I watch it and cry to this day for many reasons, but mostly because I can see me and Jenny, we can't even cover our crying. I mean, right. they cut to us and I'm trying to sing, but there's tears streaming down my face. It <laughs> you was, weren't acting in that Oh, one. I was, was not acting. It was, it was a tough, tough day because we had, you know, been together five years. And when you're so young, you're, you're, you're more prone to be, you know, connected to someone and, and feel like they're family. And, and for me, they were my family because I had, you know, unfortunately lost a lot of my family. So it was, uh, it was a tough, tough day. We'll be right back. Been a long year. Been a long, long time. Now that we're here, I'm feeling fine. It takes what it takes. It's a crazy ride.
are back with Kelly Packard from Baywatch and California Dreams. So when that show finally ended um, and your, you know, the five-year gig ended, what happened then at that point? Were you, did you a have? A lot, a lot happened. I actually had been dating my husband. I met my husband when I was doing California Dreams. Oh. And um, uh, we ended up getting married shortly on the tales of it ending. I was a young bride. I was 21. Oh. And, um, and when we got married, I felt like, you know, at that point, I'd already been in the business for, what, 11 years. And I'm like, I just, I want to get away. Let's just Take a break. go somewhere. So we went up to Northern California, up to mm. Eureka, this little town. He played college basketball there. And, and I got as far away as I could. And then, lo and behold, uh, the very next, I think, four months later after we get there, I get a call from Baywatch. Oh. And they want to know if I'll come down and audition for a new series regular. And can't really turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's amazing because I've read, I think you, you probably, I'm the Guinness Book of World Records, I think, says that's the most watched yep. or most popular TV show in the world. Yep. It's like, seen like a billion people. Yeah, we used to get a billion viewers a week. Wow. I, I mean, absurd, absurd. And I can, it's, I can proudly say that I was a part of history. I really was. A show that made history. And do you still get people commenting or reacting? Yes, or, yeah, you know, here and there. Um, it's, it depends on the age group. If, if it's a, a middle-aged people, they will know Baywatch. If it's about 20s to 30s, they, they grew up with California mm -hmm. Dreams. Anything under 20, have no clue who I am. <laughs> it's amazing how the time <laughs> goes so by, It's so funny, it? yeah. It makes me feel very old. <laughs> but there's some talk of a Baywatch movie, or there has been over yeah, the years. Do you know if anything? They talk about it all the time, and, mm. and they know that I'm on board should it happen. So mm. we've, uh, several of the cast members, there's like 10 of us that have been in, in talks, if you will, for the last uh, oh, five or six months. And oh, we oh. talk about doing something amongst us, something really fun, whether it's reality based oh, or getting like together and doing, yeah, right, yeah, right. getting together and doing some sort of show. Um, and it's been so fun just exchanging emails. I mean, you, you, you can imagine some of the emails that float around between us. <laughs> now, <laughs> was that a fun funny. show to work on? You it would really, think that I really mean. It really was. Uh, hindsight, the best job I'll ever have. And mm. that is because I'm born and raised here. I'm a beach girl. Mm. If I wasn't working, I would have been at the beach. So I was being paid <laughs> hang to out the hang out at the beach and in between takes, hey, can I take the jet ski out? Sure. You know, I, it was it was a dream. It really was. I didn't I won't miss the cold water at four and five in the morning oh. and, and when it was getting into November, but you know, it was it was a great job. And do you still keep in touch with like David Hasselhoff or um, Carmen I do. Or I, I, when I see David, we, it's like we never left. He hugs me for m hours and minutes and we just sit and talk. Um, I talk to, I've seen Carmen here and there, but I talk to Michael Bergen, David Chokichi, oh. Jeremy Jackson, the boys. I hit it off with the boys really well. Um, and Alexandra Paul, I still talk to her quite often. So it's good. I, I try to go into every new endeavor as as making a family out of it, and I, I've succeeded with that. I mean, I'm still very close with the Dreams cast, with several people from Baywatch, mm -hmm. with my producers from Ripley's. I just, it just means a lot to me to make it like a family setting. Do you ever go into rescue mode at the beach? <laughs> Feel like no. you should jump in and save them. Heavens, no. It's slow motion, preferably. No. <laughs> but people always ask, could you really save someone? I'm like, I probably could. I probably could because you know they did take it seriously. They made us be CPR certified. Oh. They made us go to lifeguarding class. They made us swim. I was swimming 100 laps a day when I got Baywatch. So. At the time, I could have saved someone. Could I now? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> now, and Baywatch was two years. It was two years. And then you went on to Ripley's after and then, yeah, that. Yeah, almost immediately after that, oh. actually. Um, it was when the business was doing a really weird uh, shift into uh, reality television, mm, yeah. and actors were kind of going, what do we do? Well, I lucked out. I made a seamless transition as a host. I still don't know how that happened, because now that's been my bread and butter for the last 10 years. And I'm like, how? When did this happen? But it, it happened seamlessly, and it, Ripley's was so much fun. I was the co-host of Dean Kane, and I got to do all the fun stuff. I got to go on location and meet people, wow. see the crazy things that they did. Well, as I told you beforehand, I went to one museum, the one in Niagara Falls, yeah. and I saw the shrunken human head. Oh, you yeah. Know, the typical, so is that what it like two years of shrunken <laughs> human heads, or you know, what kind of stuff We had better stuff than that. Are you kidding? <laughs> My favorite one was these uh, men and women uh, that pierced themselves with shark hooks in the back and then hung themselves from the hooks. So, and not just hung themselves, you know, no, they had to do a pyramid. So there were three guys and then hanging from them were two guys, hanging from them was a woman and then they would be hoisted up in the air all hanging from the skin of their back. Now, was this like a, was what awesome. I would say, sadomasochistic or yes, was it a absolutely. cult or a tribe it or was, what was the? It was people <laughs> pushing the envelope, that's all it was. And, and they're fainting and they're just rubbing smelling salts in front of them and I'm just like, I couldn't believe what I was watching. 
But they, yeah, things like that. And now I'm so desensitized. A lot of bleeding, a lot of blood. There, what, one of the girls bled quite a bit. Wow. Yeah. Everybody else, no. Never had just, the urge to try it yourself at home? No, no. <laughs> I've never had the urge to try any of those things. But you got to go all over the place for that? I did. I traveled all over the United States. We went to Spain. Um, that was fun. We were... Hey, fun for, for me is maybe not for your, everybody, but we were on a tour bus and we, we started in Phoenix and ended in New York. And I loved it. I loved every minute of it because we stopped in cities along the way and filmed. And, and it was just being right there with the people. I loved it. I guess it's hard to beat the people on the hooks, though, right? Yeah, That's, no, uh, that was probably the best one. Did you have to eat anything weird? Uh, or anything I didn't. Like that, no, or no, 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 no. In fact, no. I, I, no. Uh, I got to see people eat, you know, all kinds of different things. <laughs> <laughs> you drew the but line there. I huh? drew the line. Yeah, I'm just the spectator. <laughs> and then, but I know you've also done a travel show. I have best job ever. Oh, ever. I love to travel. So travel we, Channel paid me oh. to go to nine exotic beaches all over the world. Wow. They paid me. I'm like, oh, really? I could just go, you know, <laughs> go well, to these beaches. Which was your favorite one? Oh, that's a tough one. Tahiti is by far the most magical place on earth. And then a close second would be uh, Tofino up in Vancouver, off of Vancouver Island. Oh, it oh. was gorgeous. And do you go back to those places I because of that? I haven't been back. I oh. haven't, and I swore that I would, and I will, but I have not been back yet. Well, wait till they pay you for the next Yeah, time. right, yeah, the next sequel. time. <laughs> <laughs> but you also did a fitness. I did. Uh, like Billy... I, I did. I did my own uh, workout video. I did a jump rope workout oh. video, and then I also hosted Billy Blanks' last two uh, infomercials for uh, Tybo Amped and Boot Camp. Both of which were very successful, and yeah, so I've I've done a lot of hosting since Ripley's, and it's been a really interesting transition. But I love it, and I I realized that it is a talent. I didn't know that it was. I I just thought it was well, it's just me being me. But there really is something to it, and it's really just being able to listen to people and 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 enjoy what you're doing. And I love doing it. And now you're host of GSM Live. I am. I'm doing. Uh, I've done 11 weeks, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to continue or not. But it's mm. really fun. It's a live show, much like this. So <laughs> I, I, I've never done that before. So it's a learning experience. But it's me and Fred Rogan every day, new every degree. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's been fun. It's been really good. It's like a Regis and Kelly setting. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, up next, we'll be back with Kelly, and we'll have a reunion with the cast of California Dreams. We'll be right back. It's perfect. Couldn't be better. Come on, it's showtime. We get together sometime. Come on, give me your phone number. Uh, 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 you go, girl. <laughs> but you make a nice couple. All right. My number's nine eight nine. Hey, that's my number. <laughs> And we are back with Kelly Packard, and joining me now, the cast of California Dreams, the first time ever on camera, we got their reunion. Got Michael Cade here. How are you? Great oh, to have you me. here on a mic. <laughs> Jenny Quad <laughs> and Brentley Brent Gore. Gore. I wanted that's to get a, that right. All right. <laughs> all right, so this is your first official reunion interview, am I right? That's right. Okay. Yep. And you've got the DVD coming out now for the series. Yeah, the spring, yeah. right? Yes, March. In, in March. The first two season. Mm -hmm. yep. But the thing, the thing the that I think is yeah. best of <laughs> yeah. Yes, because Brent was on there. Yes, Brent uh -huh. was on there. Yes. Of course. Yes. But the thing that I think is so great is that you guys have stayed in touch. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you know, it, most people, you feel like when the job's over, you know, you may have had a good run, but, but you've actually stayed, kept it together. I've done enough talking, so you guys talk. Well, this is true. We watched it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, is this yeah. what it was like on the set? Yes. Uh, oh. Jenny, I mean, Just actually, I'm down. really good friends with all th all three of you. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, yes. Uh, she and I are inseparable. He and I, when we have to. And I talk to him on the phone, occasionally. email occasionally. Yeah. It's, it's, you had lunch or something yesterday. We had lunch right? yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Mm -hmm. we are These like three did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are like a family here. Definitely. And uh, I'm trying to keep up with everybody <laughs> what you've been up to. I know, well, first of all, Brentley, we've got your DVD here. I know you've got your music CD. going on. I'm sorry, CD. Uh, oh, King well, this is a, this, can you get a shot of this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, band called King Straggler that I'm in with a couple of other actors, John Hawks and um, Rodney Eastman. And basically, I've been in this band 
for about six years. Six years. And we did a, that's our first record, then we have another one coming out, and we've done a couple tours, and I've done a lot of music since uh, since California. He's very Dreams. talented. It was so weird, though, because um, I knew of Brent Lee's work. We had the same music manager. I was oh. doing Nobody's Angel, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my gosh, Brent has this new album. It was so awesome. Well, yeah. in fact, so you all, I mean, again, the premise of the show was in advance, so you all are pretty much musical, right? You all. Right. Except for. Except for you. No. I'm not. He oh. was no. the man. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't. <laughs> Shot through the heart, oh, okay. and you're okay. too okay. black. No. Okay, no. you were the one who was lip syncing. Okay, yes. I got that. No, he didn't have to sing, thank goodness. <laughs> he, he was, was the manager away. of us yeah. in the, on the show. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. But in real life, you do sing, though, don't you? No, oh, karaoke. Don't at all. no. karaoke. Bad karaoke. Back up. I mean, you're great. <laughs> what did you sing in the show? I've tried to give Very him a musical no. career. You want to bust it out right Jenny now? Jenny is amazing. You were Miss Saigon. She was in Miss Broadway. Saigon. Yes. And, and I, I just started the first national tour when I was a baby, 18. Um, but yes, since then, um, yeah, yeah, just a few ago. years ago. Well, that's the thing. You were all so young when we that were, show was on. We were. You were 16. I was the all. baby of this group, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were what? About the 40. old man at 20, <laughs> right? I mean, right? I mean, I was yeah, he was. Old. I thought he was so old and he was only like 20. <laughs> so funny. Oh, wow. It's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And you're also doing, um, what, what is this with Avatar? Ab yes, um, we just finished our last episode, the final episode for Avatar, The Last Airbender. It's on Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. It's a really popular children's show, but it's it's such a great show. Really good, um, just storylines and, and beautiful animation. So I was really happy to be a part of that. And I hear this may be turned into a oh, live action Oh, this is movie? going to be turned into a live action feature, and M. Night Shyamalan is going to be directing it. Oh, you're going so to be in it? She I better. Love to. She <laughs> better. So we'll We're see. We're going to stake him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be warned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, but it's officially, is it still up in the air? Or well, no, they, they are going to be filming it. and um, But the cast isn't. The cast oh, is not okay. set yet. Okay. Correct. And you've got a movie coming up. I do. It's called Along the Way. Actually, the uh, DVD release just happened uh, December 3rd. Ah. So um, please check it out. Along the Way. And what's along, the way, <laughs> along the way. Along Got the title. What's it about? Um, who cares? Yeah, he, <laughs> who, care, who cares? And he probably wasn't it, even so. in it. Oh, yeah. you were? I mean, who do you oh. play? Who are you? Uh, I play. It's about a feel good movie. Uh, four best friends, you know, traveling, getting out of college, and then one. The cast drugs. of California yeah. Dreams. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. 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 He yeah. tried to get all of us, and we said no. I had a <laughs> movie that came out that I did with Jamie Kennedy and Frank Muniz that came out this year called Extreme Movie. Extreme Movie. What's that about? And that right? just uh, as a is a crazy crazy, I would call it a romp. A romp. About <laughs> sexual tensions in high school. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's cool. Like Were you back in high school? Was this like how I was in part two? I wasn't yeah. in high school. <laughs> I, one of the high school students, one of my scenes, this is just to give you an example, one of my scenes was Frankie Muniz had to come over into uh, a gas station because some bullies had gotten him. So we walked over into the uh, a porn set. <laughs> I, was playing, I was playing an AD on a porn set that turned ah. into a musical. Oh, so it was oh, that's a funny. Porn that turned that's into a funny. musical. That's exactly right. It, ca it came in and it went straight to DVD like Mike's movie. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, somehow I could see that on the big screen though, I don't know. But you also, I mean, you've done what, some sort of General Hospital yeah, and some things like that? Yes, General Hospital, Something So Right. I had a holding deal with ABC a few years ago. So I'm still waiting for that deal to come through. And That's what I have. <laughs> <laughs> and you were so actually you, you were on Baywatch though too, right? You did a yeah, what? what? Oh yeah, it right. was. That's I right. Remember. You didn't know. Where no, I remember. Up? Yeah, he played a young Billy Warlock. Really? I remember. Did you save him? No, I, this was you. way before I was on the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's when good acting was oh, available. Oh yes. Did they cut your your part out? No, I actually I remember seeing it. Oh, <laughs> he did. He played a young Billy Warlock. I will vouch for that. He was also in the movie Chaplin. Chaplin. Was yeah. was Charlie. Chaplin? Was it Charlie or Chaplin? Played a, young <laughs> a young Chaplin. <laughs> yeah. And, and next week, though, so you're actually still putting together the DVD. We are. We're, we're start so recording excited. All of we the get to go in and do all the commentary and the interviews, like the, the bonus stuff on the DVDs. That is really exciting. Yeah. Oh, well, I was checking out the clips on YouTube. There are a lot of clips out there, yeah. and they've been getting good hits and stuff. And yeah. Well, in fact, you even said that if they weren't going to put out this DVD, you were yeah. going to produce it yourself. We were all trying to. Yeah. yeah. Yep. In fact, Jenny has labored so long <laughs> in transferring all of our VHSs to DVD, and now, and now, and now they're releasing it. Because I thought it wouldn't happen. Yeah, we none of us ever thought this would happen, and it was really crazy when we found out, and I was so excited. Yeah. So excited. We have a lot of fans that liked that show. So they Do you, you ever think they'll do some kind of on-camera, re as far as like a reality reunion Everybody or asks something, us, or? and we always know, say, yeah. we'll do it. You yeah, know, it would be funny. We'll go find Jay in Australia. He's there now. Yeah. And Williams, James Jones. <laughs> 
He's a uh, Williams James. He's, he's a really he's good a friend daddy. of mine. Yeah. He's a daddy. He's actually he's a, um, he left the business and he is business. um yep. uh, studying psychology. He's doing really well. I got and theology. Mm -hmm. And theology. Mm -hmm. uh, and theology. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm right. sorry, we are out of time. This oh. is the cast of California Dreams, our first official on-camera yeah. reunion. And look forward to the DVD. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Gregory. Thank Kelly, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jenny and <laughs> Bentley. Brentley. Bar with an R. Bar, R with an R. Like Brentley. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>